Good morning, boys and girls. We are in Miss Emily's kitchen for a cooking class with our portobello mushrooms that are ready to go, ready to eat today. So we're going to harvest a few for our recipe today. We're going to have portobello mushrooms. We're going to have a carrot. We're going to have a cucumber, a red bell pepper, and another kind of fungus to go along with our mushroom fungus, some blue cheese that some of you sampled at school a couple of weeks ago. So I am going to harvest, oh, we also need um, a grater for your carrot if you want to do this recipe, um, and a sharp knife to chop. So I'm going to harvest one of the mushrooms let me see if I can show you. They're really big. They are ready to harvest. The neat thing about um, this little farm in a box is once we harvest them and keep watering them, they are supposed to keep producing. So we could have, I think, up to four different crops of um, mushrooms. So I'm going to harvest one. I'll harvest a little one to save the big ones to send to you. I harvest them. I want to twist it so that the entire mushroom comes out. So this is the little stem. I don't know if these are roots or not. I'm not sure. That would be something interesting. When you all get your mushrooms today, um, look up anatomy of a mushroom. I'm gonna take the stem out so that there's just the cap. And I don't know if you remember at McConnell Springs, um, our naturalist told us the name of what is underneath the mushroom cap. I'm going to peel this away so you can see. Do you all remember the name? Those were called the gills because they kind of look like the gills on the side of a fish that the fish uses to breathe. It's really beautiful. When you get your mushrooms, either today or tomorrow, Take a really close look at the gills underneath the cap of the mushroom. So for this recipe, I'll start by um, prepping the carrot. So with my little grater, my little peeler, peel the carrot making sure I'm holding the handle so that the sharp part is only touching the carrot and not my fingers. start to chop the carrot. I'm going to do my carrot in just thin little discs, little circles. And depending on how hungry you are or how many people you are cooking for, you could do half of the carrot or you could do the whole carrot. It is just me that I am cooking for this morning. So I am just going to cook or slice about that much. Okay. Next, I'm going to get my cucumber ready. Now I happen to love cucumbers, so I might put a little extra cucumber in this mushroom salad. I'm going to slice it in half. 
You can see the meat cucumber seeds. And then I will slice these into little half circles, quarter moons, quarter moon shapes. And I like, when I eat salad, I like for my things to be thinly sliced. Okay. So I have about that much cucumber, about that much carrot. Next, I'm going to get my bell pepper ready. So this was just part of a bell pepper. We used the other part of it the other night for dinner. But again, I'm going to cut this into thin slices. And this time, um, watch how I'm using the knife. What do you notice about how I'm holding the knife? Where I'm holding my other hand? You want to try to tuck your fingers under so that your fingers don't accidentally get cut when you're using a really sharp knife. So that's something that you can practice at home when you are cooking. If you are asked to chop something, practice putting your fingers kind of under, like a fist, sort of like that, to hold the food while you're slicing, to protect your fingers. And then actually, I think I'm gonna cut these up into even smaller little pieces. This is what you call dicing something. I'm going to dice the red pepper until I have about that much. Okay. Now here comes the part where we're going to slice up our portobello mushroom. Again, I'm going to try to use or do really thin slices. Wow. It was so easy to slice through that. And you can really see the gills on the underside of the cap when you're slicing them. Now you might choose to leave it as a slice. You might choose to dice it up into smaller pieces. It's up to you what you like in your salad. I might do a little bit smaller pieces. There we go. So we have sliced carrots, sliced cucumbers, diced red pepper, and diced portobello mushroom. There's the mushroom. You know, I actually haven't tasted the mushroom all by itself. It has a very interesting flavor. Mmm, it, it's really good. <laughs> now I'm going to add some blue cheese crumbles on top. So I have a wedge of blue cheese. So I'm going to cut off a little piece and then kind of crumble it up with my fingers. Super messy. The blue cheese is an option. You do not have to use it. You can add other ingredients to your salad if you like. I'm trying to think what else might be kind of tasty. Maybe some broccoli, maybe some red onion. Okay, and then kind of mix that all up. I'll grab a napkin really fast. 
All right. Get a piece of blue cheese, a piece of mushroom, a piece of cucumber, and pepper, and carrot. It is the perfect Friday snack. Your mushrooms will be ready. Your mushrooms will be ready to pick up in a little baggie at Miss Chappie's house this afternoon. They'll be in a box on her, um, probably on her steps. So I um, hope you enjoy cooking with them this weekend. I'd love to hear what recipes you decide to use. Um, and I will see you next week.